Shalom, Shalom, Mr. Brother Zachariah coming back to you with another one. All right, and before I get started, I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom, <clears throat> Salakia. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your con election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, shalom. Again, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another one. And Lord willing, this be edifying, okay? So we know that today is so-called Mother's Day, all right? So, you know, uh, most of us that are in this truth and have been in this truth for uh, some years now, we understand that this uh, so-called day that celebrates our mothers is really uh, pagan. OK, it's pagan and it doesn't it is not one of our customs. OK, so, you know, celebrating your, your your mother, your father or whatever the case may be, you know, your parents in general, you know, it's to be a, a everyday everyday thing. OK. Now, this whole thing is it, it's an agenda. You know, when they put these out here, these are customs of the heathen and also that they want you to partake in them, you especially you Israelites, because it keeps you away from the heavenly father. All right? He wants us, you know, to be holy is to be separate, okay? Cuz Christians even keep this day because they 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 err not uh they un, they do not understand the holy scriptures, all right? And what's in it. You know, but we have that wise uh, understanding, you know, of what's going on in here all through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua because he don't just give this to just anybody, but he gave it to us and, um, and allowed us uh, back into his wise counsel. All right. This is why we can t uh, tell you. All right. We, we research, you know, the Bible tells you study to show thyself approved. All right. And um, and this is how you, uh, you know, uh Begin to see and like, hey, wait a minute, this ain't this. This don't sound right. This don't look right. You know what I'm saying? You start connecting the dots. All right. So I got this pulled up here. You know, Mother's Day origin. Okay, going back to its roots, which it goes back further than this. Okay, uh, which I got a scripture for that. You know, but before we get into that, I wanted to just show you this because anything that goes back to any other nation or any heat, you know, these heathen and stuff, you know, that's not something that we should really partake in. OK, we have our own. Uh, we have our uh, holy days. We don't have holidays. We have holy days. OK, that we should be keeping. And the Christian church teaches you not to keep them. Uh, you know, they don't mention any of them. OK, <clears throat> all these so-called days. And then they try to lump them together, you know, with um, this religion and stuff, which our whole the Bible is not even dealing with religion. It's a um, it's culture. OK, uh, of a nation. Okay, of a nation of people. That's what it go. It stems back to. Okay, it's our book and it's our way of life. Okay, how we conduct ourselves uh, uh, on a daily matter. All right. But Mother's Day says celebration, and it says, "Who created Mother's Day?" All right. It's a woman. It says Anna Jarvis of Philadelphia, whose mother had organized women's groups to promote friendship and and health. Originated Mother's Day, okay, on May 12 of 1907, she held a memorial service at her late mother's church in Grafton, West, West Virginia. So this is the woman right here, okay. You see that Mother's Day? She she is the one that did it, okay. And then you can you know just looking at her, you could tell. All right, this is a uh, Anitamite woman. This is uh, which uh, these are the people that are ruling over us, you know, our oppressors, okay. And, and this is one of their customs, okay? And they, they they make sure that you partake in these, okay? All right, just to provoke the Heavenly Father to more uh, anger, all right? So I just wanted to show y'all that real quick, all right? As we get we dive into this lesson and start going into these uh, precepts and Lord willing, this be edifying, all right? But like I said, nothing new under the sun, all right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter one and verse nine, and it says, "The thing that hath been." is that which shall be okay and that which is done is is that which shall be done okay and there is no new thing under the sun so this whole mother's day thing this ain't even new it, it's it goes back even further and the more in which i i haven't uh get all that information pulled up just for the sake of time i just wanted to do a quick edifying lesson but um 
you do your own research and you look and um, you'll find out that this goes back to uh, other deities okay it puts uh, links back with that old queen of heaven spirit all right which the bible tells you in exodus and deuteronomy that there shall uh you know yahweh tells you that there should be no other gods before him okay so this whole queen uh heaven this is like that's a whole nother deity okay uh, unlike a, a whole nother god so um you know basically you should not have any other gods before him all right so again is you know here it tells you there's no new thing under the sun all right so showing you that this so-called mother's day and this all this stuff it, it, it goes it goes back even further but they they originated this a mother's day thing which uh you know if you want to look at it from 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 that aspect then it's a american babylonian uh custom okay which we we're supposed to come out of her. The Bible says, come out of her, my people, that you you not be partakers of her sins, you know, or receive any of her plagues. You see? All right. So that's what we should be doing. But a lot of our people are not going to, uh, uh, they're not going to hearken on what we say because uh, the what Esau does is he'll take these pagan holidays, which it all is wicked and evil. It, it, may, it may not seem like it to your people, but see, this, this devil is very cunning. And he'll package it up real, real nice, okay, and make it look good to where, like, hey, you know, this, it's all about your mother. It's all about you, you know. Hey, man, every day Mother's Day, you know, every day is Mother's Day, you know. That's just like birthdays. Birthdays, uh, which is, that's a whole nother lesson. But birthdays, we're not to celebrate the day of our, uh, you know, of our birth, okay. It's even in the scriptures, okay. But you, your pastor would never bring it out, man. He'll never bring it out. All right. So this is why, uh, you know, hey, the men of the Lord are set up. But see, we're going to be hated. This is why the Bible says you'll be hated by all men. You know what I'm saying? Because you start telling these things, your family ain't going to like it. You know, and I've, I, I've been on it uh, since this morning, you know, uh, going going at it about this Mother's Day and how pagan it is and everything. Even sharing information from other brothers and sisters, too. Bro sisters are posting it. I'm reposting their stuff on my uh, Facebook Oh man, my family, my family ain't nothing. There ain't nobody liking it, reacted to it, none of it, because they don't like that. They don't like that. And, and then they, they on their page, you know, uh, Happy Mother's Day, big bold letters and stuff. So they just like, like basically saying we don't give a damn what you say, or what you think, and all that. They're gonna go ahead and go with it, and that's fine. But when the heavenly Father start catching that judgment, and then y'all gonna, you ain't gonna know where it hit you. Then y'all gonna be wanting somebody to pray for you, or there, there we are. They talking, trying to get everybody together to go to a funeral. Hell no, because see, you wasn't listening. The heavenly Father judged you, man, and he's gonna start, he's gonna start uh, showing his wrath, man, for real. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. All right, but this is Jeremiah chapter ten, verse two. It says, "Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen." You see that, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Which, a, hey, even when you look at this, you know you have the uh, northern lights going on, and, and you're seeing it in places that you normally don't see it. All right. So now, you know, hey, I, I wasn't going too crazy about it. I wasn't, you know, I stepped out to look to see if I see it. I didn't see nothing. It, uh, the sky was full of uh, all that bullshit, you know, that they be spraying. So, you know, I didn't see anything around here, but uh, most, a lot of people said that they saw it. There were pictures and footage. I shared a few things, but uh, you know, I'm not going like breaking my neck trying to look, you know, we're not dismayed and everything at the things in heaven. Now we understand when these things happen, these are signs, okay? That's what, uh, that, that's the whole reason for it, okay? And, and normally Esau tries to block it all out, but see, he can't stop it, but he'll try to control the narrative and uh, what's going on. Okay, so whatever he's saying is what's what's the cause of it? It's totally different. Don't believe anything that he's saying. It's it's uh that's a sign from the heavenly Father. Okay, and it probably don't mean it. It probably is something <laughs> very bad that's coming. You know what I'm saying? When the signs like that. Now it also at simultaneously that sign can also be something good for us, showing us that, like hey, you know don't don't lose faith, don't lose hope. I'm coming. I'm sending my, or I'm sending my son, you know, and the, and the angels, hey, this place is going to fall, you know, because you never know what Jake goes through here, man. Jake could just, you know, sometimes Jake can get a little discouraged. They wake up and they just keep seeing this place standing, Esau, you know, ruling.
thing and you're going through hell you're getting hit with sickness and stuff which hey job got hit with sickness okay he was a righteous man you know i've been dealing with that and i was starting to like feel some kind of way i'm like man this is crazy you know i'm trying to be diligent do the work and here i am getting hit with the sickness and stuff but then i started to think about job man and that's when i was like man you know uh, you know, he was a righteous man, but he was going through all these afflictions. But you know what he did? He, he got up and he just kept going and going and worshiping uh, the Heavenly Father. He didn't, uh, you know, he didn't curse him. He didn't, you know, do all those things. He just kept going and going. And I'm thinking like, man, if, if you know, my forefather Job did that, then man, shoot. Hey, I, I should be doing the same thing. I could walk in those same footsteps, you know, get up and keep and keep at it, man. And keep at it. Just keep praising the Heavenly Father, man. You know, cause hey, he he's the one that can heal you, man. And I feel, hey, I feel good. I feel 100%. You know, I'm out here soaking up this sun. The sun is shining bright. I'm out here soaking up sun and doing this lesson to edify my people. Cause like I said, I love my people. Y'all are my true family, man. Okay, that's why I do this. All right. But yeah, the heat for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yeah, they're dismayed at these signs. Okay. Uh, verse three for the customs of the people are vain all right and keep that word in mind all right uh, keep customs keep the word customs and the word vain okay because we're going to look those words up all right for one cut off a tree out of the forest that work of the hands uh the hands of the work uh workmen with the uh axe and as you read this more and more it goes into them putting ornaments and all that on the tree and stuff which you know what that is that's christmas okay and what did the and what did the heathen do they lumped it in saying oh man uh so-called you know jesus christ which uh we know his name to be yahweh shai okay saying that he was uh born on december 25th which we uh when you begin to wake up and do the research you find out that he wasn't born on december 25th okay you know, so uh, that that links back to uh, uh, a person by the name of Nimrod, okay, which people worship uh, him as a as a god and a deity and everything. All right, and this guy was a wicked man. All right, very wicked man. So you know, that's what it goes back to, okay. And all these customs are, are lumped in with these heathen. All right, it's not ours, okay. So like I said, keep the word custom and vain in mind and we're going to start with custom first okay and it says um a tradition a traditional and widely accepted way uh of behaving or doing something that is specific to a particular society see to a particular society place or time okay but see they'll push that they're pushing it on on everyone okay it, you know like this way like uh you you'll have a uh, I remember when uh, we were young, me and my siblings, we were young and we, uh, because my mom, uh, uh, or my stepfather, I should say, uh, he was, um, he was military, okay? So like we were stationed in Fort Stewart, Georgia, all right? And uh, back then, uh, during this time, they used to, uh, and, 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 and if you ever lived in that area, Fort Stewart, it's around Hinesville, okay? Uh, Hinesville, Georgia. Um, it's, it's not very cold weather, okay? Because it's down there, uh, uh, down uh, in, in Georgia, you know? So, you don't, you know, you're not dealing with, like, snow and, and you know, it, it could get cool or stuff, but it, for the most part, it's very hot, all right? So, uh, they would do, like, around Christmas time, you know, it's it was pleasant weather. They would have these parades, and I remember this as a kid seeing this. They had these parades, and and, they, and when they had them, they had Santa Claus, uh, and he had the little red outfit and everything, but he had shorts on instead. <laughs> and uh, and then, uh, like, they had Santa in all type of nations. They had a Chinese Santa. They had a Chinese Santa. They had a black Santa. They had a white Santa. They, you know, they had them in all, like, all flavors, man. You know, they had the Hispanic uh, uh, Santa. You know, all that's crazy, man. But the whole customs of the people of vain, you know, this and what I'm saying is that basically they had all these different nations of people all partaking in this thing, man. OK, and, and that whole Christmas thing is not even our that's not a custom of ours. All right. And look, you got the word tradition, practice, uh, let's say way, ceremony, procedure, ordinance, fashion, uh, Look, they got sacred cow on here. Wow. <laughs> Way of doing things. All right. A custom. Okay. Th those ain't our customs, though. All right. And this is the word vain. 
okay? And uh, I'm going to read the, the second one, and it says, producing no result, useless, look, uh, pointless, look, it says pointless, worthless, to no purpose, in vain, ineffective, powerless, fruitless, look, you know, you know them by their fruits, hey, fruitless, without success, failed, profitless, wow, see that? So the Heavenly Father is not uh, dealing with... He ain't dealing with Mother's Day uh, as well. Like I said, it's an everyday thing, okay? Because one of the and then one of the things you gotta understand is when you're dealing with certain people, especially Christians or just uh, people in general, they 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 may not read their Bible every day, but they'll know this. They'll pull this out. They'll say, uh, and they they probably can't even tell you exactly where it's at, which is here in the Book of Exodus, chapter twenty, verse twelve, and it says, "Honor thy mother and thy uh, or honor thy father and thy mother," okay? That thy days may be long upon the land which uh, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Okay, so you're supposed to honor thy mother and father, and so they thinking that they'll say honor as in you know we created these days for them. Okay, here's a day for the mother, and here's a day for the father. Where is that at in the Bible? It don't tell you right here uh, to set up an exact day. It just says honor thy mother and thy father. That's every day, man. OK, because a lot of times when these so-called holidays come, what happens? They'll they'll do these. They'll 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 do the whole thing for show for Facebook or these platforms. And then they go back to wherever they at and don't even uh, talk to their parents, acknowledge them, uh, probably uh, hate their guts. Most people don't even like their parents. You know what I'm saying? They might have had a rough childhood and they hold that grudge, you know, and can't stand their parents. Some of my uh you know, I got siblings. They can't stand uh, my mother or my father, you know? They don't deal with either one of them, you know? So you got some people that'll do it for show. Oh, this is my mother, I love my mother, you know? They might play the, uh, the Dear Mama Tupac song and all that, for show, for clout, okay? To look good on, on, on Facebook, okay? The Heavenly Father, but the Heavenly Father sees all, he knows the hint. The intent and hearts of men and, and one of the things is you know a lot of people put on a good show but uh overall the heavenly father is not even dealing with that day so you shouldn't be partaking in it all right you're supposed to love your mother and your father every day okay that's what you're supposed to be doing all right this is the book of mark chapter 6 verse 4 and i'm gonna read it in the new king uh king james version okay the N the nkjv all right and it says but yahweh shai said to them a prophet okay uh is uh not without honor okay because uh except in his own country among his own relatives all right and his and in his own house okay so you know yeah you can honor your mother and father but hey we're not getting that honor okay we're not getting that amongst our own people okay they talk about honor this honor that but ain't nobody honoring you they're not uh showing you any honor you know and you're a man of the lord the heavenly you know you, you're pretty much like the spokesperson of the heavenly father the mouthpiece he's using you to go out here uh to uh preach his word okay and that's what we're doing okay but it says you're not without honor because see the heavenly father sees all see that's where we we get our uh you know, the, the Heavenly Father is looking at us, okay? He's like, yeah, his reward's gonna be great in the kingdom, you know? You know, and Yahweh Ratazah, that, you know, we are those men, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, of that precious number, okay? Of that one third, to see that deliverance. Okay, so I'll read this again, but Yahweh Shai said to them, a prophet is not with uh, out honor, except in his own country, okay, among his own relatives, in his own house and see we understand that and that's why we just keep our distance you know i don't like the you know the fake stuff i don't go or be around um you know so-called family you know even if you know you know like and if i am around them you know i do show love because i do love my people however i understand that you know when you're in this truth and you're rooted and grounded and stuff like that you can't have any distractions because they don't understand this you know what i'm saying they don't they don't partake in, in any of this they might like for example you try to keep the sabbath day all right but they out and about doing whatever you know what i'm saying shopping buying doing you know cooking <laughs> you know and uh and you're trying to keep it but they don't they don't uh you know regard any of that 
All right. That's why the scripture says this is second Corinthians chapter six, verse 14 says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Cause see, they don't believe. Okay. So you don't want to be uh, hanging around a bunch of unbelievers. Okay. Cause you know, the Bible also says a lot of people will die in what their unbelief, you know? Okay. So be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship have righteousness. Okay. All right. With unrighteousness. Okay. And what communion have light with darkness? Cause see, they they're they're stuck in darkness. Okay, and see, and you you have uh you have uh come came into the uh, marvelous light of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, so you uh you know you don't want to be uh around certain individuals like that. Okay, even if you know this truth, you think oh I'll be all right. You know now nah, you sometimes you just need to uh you know keep your distance. From them. Now you might have certain ten folk. They might not have came into this truth as of yet, but you can see like that. You know, they, it's possible they might wake up. You know, they're waking up. They're starting to see certain things. And, and like I said, everybody's awakening is different. Okay, like somebody that's starting to think a little bit. You know, I got ten folk that didn't take that jab. You know, and they knew knew something ain't right. So I got to talking with them about it, and, and we sharing stuff, and then they're starting to look into history. You know, I got an uncle man who, uh, you know, he he understands a little bit about the Israelites, but he was going into like the Moorish stuff, which I said, yeah, that's, that's Israelite history, man. You know, but, uh, you know, uh, he's heard a lot of things. You know, when you look online and you hear a lot of stuff about the Israelites, I said, well, one thing, people are going to uh, say certain things, you know, or they'll see like one bad person, somebody might be a part of a camp and do something. And then they'll say, they'll try to lump the whole country. Like, see, the whole thing is, you know, no, nah. you know, you have certain individuals that do wicked stuff, but that don't mean, you know, that's just, that's everywhere. Okay. But see, bringing out this truth, bringing out this truth and exposing uh, the lies and things that we've been told all throughout our lives. And our people have, it's become a tradition to celebrate like Mother's Day, Father's Day and those things. You're gonna be hated by your family. They might not tell you to your face. Uh, and I see, I feel it. I see it when I'm around certain family and they all smile and act like, hey, so-and-so here, what the what, you know. But deep down, they don't, they don't like you. They don't like you. Some of them, some of them tried to avoid me. Some of them tried to avoid me, man. And, and that's fine, you know. Hey, it's, it's all cool, you know. Because what's going to happen is when the Heavenly Father judges you, and he will judge you, you're going to realize that a prophet had been among you, man. That's Ezekiel 33 and 33, you know. And you're going you're gonna to feel some kind of way because you're going to, you know, he's going to be bringing out everything that you've done, and you're going to be like, but I didn't know. And then you're going to say, well, you know, I had my man set up, you know, one of my men, which is one of your kinfolk, your kinfolk. And every day he was posting the stuff, warning you, warning you, warning you, and you got mad. You didn't want to say a word to him. You seen him and you didn't want to say a word to him. You gave him the cold shoulder, you know, which giving me the cold shoulder is giving the Heavenly Father a cold shoulder. Okay, so what you think he's going to do to you? Okay. But yeah, you're going to be hated by, by even your, your family, man. Okay. Your so-called family, because your true family are those in this truth, man. That's my family, all right? But this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, and it says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So what we are focused on is this making our call and election sure and also enduring, man, endurance. That's a thing to pray for. When you keep in mind, when you're praying, that's us things. If you act like, you know, I don't know what to pray for when I'm praying to them, Father. Man, pray for endurance. Pray for endurance, man. Because it's all about enduring to the end. You know, like I said, you have your days. When I was dealing with this sickness and, and I was like, man, what the world? You know, hey. But now, like I said, I'm 100%. I'm standing here fine, man. And I'm and I'm uh, giving all the honor, glory, and praise unto you. How about Shimmy? I was shout for that, man. Okay? And like I said, I show my appreciation by coming out and doing the work. Do these videos. Do these uh, lessons. Go out on the highways. Okay? Which I just did my uh, highways uh, yesterday. You know, I got it uploaded this morning. Because, you know, I had to put, uh, of course, you know, add my clips and my notes and things on, onto it. But I was going into it regarding, uh, you know, how we're not... Uh, we're not ham, okay? You know, which a lot of people try to lump us together, 
all right and lord willing that that wouldn't be edifying unto you like i said i try to put out a few little information and there's so much more that you can really go into like man a lesson like that can you could really go into deep lesson but i was just trying to bring out some information and showing you like hey we're not the same people okay and a lot of them over there know that okay but we do have people over there too so don't get it twisted that's why you know we're fishing for the elect okay you know we do have people over there you know absolutely and i ain't talking like one or two or three people like no nah, man in, in mass numbers okay and, and those that are intended to get this truth they're going to get it okay the heavenly father already has a setup who his uh chosen and elect are we just don't know it okay and that's and for good reason we don't need to know because man they'll put you on a level or type of pride imagine if you knew you was already going to be delivered and you the elect you get arrogant, and some are already arrogant anyways. They get puffed up just in their knowledge and the knowledge in this thing. I don't even get like that, you know? I admit, I say I don't know it all, okay? But I stay in my lane, I, you know, there's certain levels and, and I stay in my lane, I just teach what I know, you know what I'm saying? And I go back to the scriptures, even if it's something I don't know, hey, I'll, I'll go back and look in the scriptures to see if it lines up, okay? Because, you know, you don't just take a person's word you know, the Bible says, I'd rather obey God than men, all right? So again, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Okay, so that's what it's all about. You want to be saved, all right, in this thing. All right, so this is uh, John uh, chapter 15, and uh, let me just go ahead and do this, all right? And let's see. We'll start at 18, and we'll just read on down uh, a little bit, all right? And, uh, and it says, uh, we'll start at ver yeah, verse 18, okay? So it says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Okay, and this is how was y'all speaking. They hated him before they hated us, okay? When he came on the scene, a lot of people, uh, and I'm talking to uh, people, uh, our people, our kinfolk, they did not like, they didn't like him, okay? They didn't like him on the scene. See, they, they had, uh, and this is why you got a lot of, uh, people that only uh acknowledge the heavenly father they don't acknowledge him okay it's, it's just no different a lot of them are waking up knowing the israelites and but they don't acknowledge uh the son the only begotten son okay the bible tells you you're going to give him reverence so they just disregard the whole new testament okay you got those individuals you got those that are just sleep out here in the in world a lot of them are stuck in these christian churches you have them as well okay That's why they they cool with with uh, hanging on to Cesare Borgia, who is who the world calls Jesus Christ. That's that that goes back to a man by the name of Cesare Borgia. This is why them so-called people in the land today, uh, known as the uh, you know the Jewish people, they'll tell you we don't we don't uh, we don't worship uh, we don't worship Jesus. We don't acknowledge Jesus and stuff. They say he's just a man and stuff. They say they go they go, they go directly linked to the Father, which they're not dealing with the Heavenly Father either, okay? These people, man, they're the synagogue of Satan. They worship Satan, <laughs> all right? They're not gonna tell you that, but they're not, they they know, cause they know they know that uh, that uh, the so-called Jesus Christ goes back to Cesare Borgia, okay? So, so that's, that's uh, the whole reason with that. You know, but everybody, you know, a lot of your uh, so-called uh, Christians, they get mad when you say something about those people over in the land, even though them people can't stand Christians. They they tell you, and I was mentioning this yesterday. I said, man, they have one of the customs they have is that they'll spit, they spit on Christians. They say spitting on Christians is a custom over there. You see, you can look it up for yourself. People go over there trying to witness to them and tell them, hey, we want to tell you the good news about Jesus and you're gonna get spit on by, by a, a Jewish man. A rabbi might even do it, you know? Okay? Verse 19, if ye, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you, okay? See, you've been chosen out of this world. So that's why the world gonna hate you. But see, if you was in this world and you celebrating everything, oh, you'd be loved. Everybody wanna hang with you and stuff. I've lost, I've lost countless friends. And you know what? I, I, I don't care. Because a lot of them were fake anyways. A lot of them were using me. A lot of them were around me just for, 
for whatever uh, they could get out of me, you know, what they, what they can gain and, and, and collect, you know, a lot of them. So when I came into this truth, that really got all that dead weight, all that stuff off of me. Okay, the fake family and stuff, which I was sensing that. I was sensing that before the truth. And, and this truth really just got all that off of me. All right. Because see, when Yahweh is uh, coming, he's all about separation. All right. He's separating the goats from the sheep. Okay. You know, and a lot of you, and I hate to say it, but a lot of you can't folk and a lot of uh, your so-called friends, they're goats. Okay. And they're going to be removed one way or another. All right. You can't be joined unto them and, uh, you know, can't be unequally yoked, man, with unbelievers. All right. All right. But again, it says, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. See that? Remember the word. Uh, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. OK, if they have per per if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. OK, it, which the Bible tells you that some of them, they're going to they're going to hate you. and They're going to cast you into some of these prisons. They're going to give you up to be cast in these prisons and they should kill you. You know, your own people. That's why hey, I, I keep staying to myself out of the way. Some of my kinfolk don't even have my phone number. All right. You know, I don't like giving my number out like that. You know. Yeah, my, my own folks don't have my phone number. OK. So again, it says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, OK, they will keep uh, yours also. All right. But all these things they will do unto you for my name's sake, because they they know not him that sent me. OK, so they don't, they don't even know the heavenly father. You see, <laughs> they don't even know if they truly knew they will be hearkening but you see that's why they're in the uh that, that's why they're in the position they in you know most of them were in line to go get the jab they're going to be in line to get the mark you know these people are not that you know they're not chosen from the heavenly father okay all right so there's that all right Now, here's the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 29. And I guess I'll go ahead and end it on this. Like I said, you know, uh, pretty much, man, the gif of it is that, you know, this whole Mother's Day thing, man, is, is, is a, it, you know, it goes back to these heathen, okay? It's not our custom, okay? You know, you're supposed to honor your mother, which I love my parents, you know, I love my parents, all right? But they're not in this truth. OK, and I don't want to be hindered by that. You know, the more you spend with them and they might try to persuade you. OK. All right. Because they, they don't know you. How about Shimei was shy? So they might try to persuade you to go back to, to the lifestyle before that, you know. OK, so you don't want to be around and you want to be around like minded individuals, you know, surround yourself around brothers, man, that are diligent in this thing that are, you know, uh, true that are truly being brothers. All right. Because, you know, you got guys that. You know, they're not really, you know, they might say Shalom, but a lot of guys are not really brothers in this thing. You got some that are just watching you, you know, praying on, on your downfall. They want to see you fall. Or, you know, there's people like that. They want to see you fall out the truth, you know, which is, I think that's uh, crazy, you know, or just trying to look for something. Ha ha, I knew this guy wasn't right. You know, that type of spirit. That's not a good thing, too. I don't even move like that. Even if somebody, I kind of sense something ain't, ain't right, I kind of pray that, hey, man, you how about Shimei Shah, man, have mercy on that guy, man. Pray, you know, you might pray that uh, the Heavenly Father might take that off of that guy. Show him mercy, you know. I, that's the type of spirit I have, you know. But you got a lot of guys, man, they'd like to see you fall out, you know. You know, a lot of selfish individuals, all right. When you come in this thing, you got to be selfless, all right. But this is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 29. OK, and it says, Ev and everyone that have forsaken houses, you see that or brethren or sisters, see, or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my namesake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Woo. So that's what it's really all about. And see, a lot of people will uh, will uh, 
ignore this. Your pastor's not going to bring this out. He really ain't going to bring it out on Mother's Day. <laughs> on this so-called Mother's Day, he's not going to bring it out. Okay? But this is in the scriptures. And a lot of us have done this. I've done this. I've forsaken all those things, man. And just worry about this truth, man. I gave up the whole music. I was in the music, you know? I was in the music. I, I've worked with artists. I didn't have to sign. I never signed no major deal or nothing. I've just always been a, a good networker. You know, I've been able to network with people, you know? That's been one, that's one of my gifts, one of my talents. I can network, but see, I can use, apply that skill with pushing this truth to get it out to where it needs to go, you know? Being a, a vessel for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, you know? But I, I gave up the whole music stuff, and I, and I was seeing the signs, uh, you know, even before the truth. There were a lot of things around, there were uh, artists that I had in high regards, and I started to see certain things. I saw certain artwork, you know, they were trying to hide certain symbols and disguise it as art, but really it was, uh, it was the worshiping of Satan, man. And I was like, oh, no, nah. you know, I said, man, I got to go. And when this truth came, it really just opened my eyes to, to why, you know, everything was the way it was. And, 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 you know, this whole route, going this route, this ain't no good, you know. But I've never been one of those individuals like, you know, oh, I'm going to sign some deal and try to be, nah, I wasn't like that, you know. I just knew how to network. I do my own thing, you know. I get my music out to where it needs to go. I always network. I, you know, I find certain individuals. I didn't go to this person or that person. I can go right to the source. You know, there were times where I used to be able to walk into, a, and this is, you know, of course, before the truth, but I would walk into a club and big artists knew me, you know, and they'd be like, hey, that's so-and-so, man, bring him on up here, you know? And then my, I had homies that were with me who were fans of some of these guys, and they're like, you know these people? And I'm like, yeah, you know? And then uh, they was nervous, getting starstruck, getting pictures, and I was, I was just like, man, this is another dude, he's just cool, you know what I'm saying? And, it was like that, you know, it was no biggie. You know, I just knew how to network and stuff, but I'm not uplifting myself. I ain't nobody or nothing. The Heavenly Father gave me a gift, man, of networking and stuff like that. And like I said, I'm gonna use it to push this gospel and truth and get it out, okay? You know, just like the whole art, the art. I have a, uh, a gift, you know, a talent in, in art, you know, so I'm gonna use it to do, you know, using like their so-called AI stuff to do the art. Now you got some people going buck wild with the thing, yeah, which that's a whole nother, I ain't gonna try to get into it or nothing. It is what it is. But you know, you got some that it went real, real crazy, you know, with that and made a big, a big thing out of nothing, you know? Cause I've seen a lot of stuff and I've always had, I've, I brought out points. I'm like, okay, you, you going buck wild on me. Meanwhile, I've seen, I've seen guys show uh, certain art visuals and things and had a, uh, you know, whether it was Goku, which Goku, you know, that's a form of leprosy. So if you're showing that, you're basically saying that the, the kingdom, we're going to have leprosy, you know, and power with blonde hair, you know, going Super Saiyan, that's leprosy. But, you know, I, I caught what you was going at with the pit, with the whole power. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I didn't say nothing, because I knew what you was, the, the real intent, okay? I wasn't being overly righteous, but I noticed that those same brothers will be that way with you. But you know, a lot of times I'll just be like, okay, I just I see where this is going. A lot of times it might just be, you know, they'll use it to try to come at you, you know, because, you know, maybe you didn't do something they wanted you to do or, and, you know, trying to control you, you know. But one of the things you want to be very, very careful about, you know, is, you know, when you try to uh, offend one of the little ones that believe on the, on the Heavenly Fathers, uh, that believe on the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know, what you think he might do to you, you know? He'll judge you, and I've seen I've seen it happen to a lot of brothers. There were guys that came up against me and the Heavenly Father did things to him, you know? So, and he could do that to people, and that's why I try to be tread very carefully. I don't get proud and think because, you know, oh, I know this person or I'm in this position, you know? All that stuff don't mean nothing. Your rank down here don't mean nothing, you know? My rank can be higher than yours in the, king, in the heavenly realm. And I'm not trying to uplift myself or nothing, but that could be a possibility. You may not see that, but that's the way it goes. Yahweh, uh, Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, has always chosen uh, the least expected. It'd be the ones that you always, you don't think, like this is that guy, this is, these, this is who I'm gonna choose. You know, even when you look at David, David was very, uh, 
he wasn't as, you know, like fit and, and looking as his brothers, you know, his brothers had that look to be like the, the, the king, the next king, and, and, and David got chosen, okay? When Yahweh when Yahweh was on the scene to pick his uh, 12 disciples, you know, he could have easily went into one of them synagogues and picked out some some men, okay? But he got he got regular your, your average Joes out there in the streets. He was choosing them, okay? That's how the heavenly Father works. You know, even with Moses, Moses, you know, uh, he had to get Moses away from Egypt. And, and Moses became at a, he was at a low state, you know, because he, he, of course he was dressed up like the Egyptian, had probably had all the gold and the jewels on, you know, he was all decked out, dripping, dripping in gold. <laughs> but you know, the heavenly father got it, got rid of all that and got him and had to, he had to get him away from that and get him in a low state to where he would deal with him. Okay. Cause that'll put you, you're at a more humble state that way. All right. So that's why I always tread carefully in this thing, man. Because you never know. You be offended somebody and that person might have rank over you. And and that and, and that's gonna hurt a lot of that hurt a lot of people's feelings. I actually had a dream of that taking place. You know, there were guys, man, who constantly, like their whole thing, I think they've done more spiritual power uh lessons than than any other thing. They were like, yeah, we're gonna get the power, the 144 and everything. But them guys was treating brothers like crap. And then when they was they, they got delivered and everything in my dream, but what happened was they weren't uh, they weren't the 144,000. They were just of the one third, which that's still a beautiful thing. I even said to myself, I'm like, man, you know, I just really want to be the one third. I want to be delivered, you know. But if you get the power, if that comes with it, hey man, may Yahweh Shimiyah use me, man, you know, to uh, whip this uh, place back to shape, man. This earth, man, cause this it it's in bad shape with with Esau ruling. So you know, let let you know his will be done, okay? And that I do I do a, a you know a, a great job, man, a marvelous job, you know, you know. And uh, but that's 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 my type of mindset with this thing, all right. But there were a lot of guys that were, and they had a disappointed look on their face. They were like, you know, they thought they was really gonna get it, but they was treat. But then I think the thought in their mind was like they started to really realize, and the ones that was getting it, you know. Uh, receiving the powers. All right, so lucky for that, y'all. Let's make sure this didn't stop on me. But um, you know, they was uh, the ones that they were treating bad. They seen them. They were the ones being lifted up. You know, getting that that uh that position. All right. Yeah. So you want to be you want to be careful with that. And I didn't want to really just get off topic on that. You know, sometimes you know through the spirit it just flows. But, um, you know, the ultimate thing is, hey, man, stay away from this Mother's Day thing. You know, love you. You know, you love your mother. You honor your mother. Uh, same with your father. I think, what, Father's Day is next month. You know, you honor your mother and your father every day. All right. But I honest, But also, you know, us coming into this truth, you might and they're not in this truth. Then you begin to distance yourself a little bit. Now, that don't mean that you hate them or nothing, but you just you still love them. But, you know, you love them enough to where, like, look, I have to depart from you because being holy is to be separate. OK, you want to follow your how about Shimei Shai, keep these law statutes and commandments. And sometimes your family can be a distraction and a stumbling block, you know, to keep you from from receiving salvation. All right. So, Lord willing, you found this lesson here edifying. I know it probably went a little longer than uh, than I expected. But like I said, it's all through the spirit. Empower of Yahweh by Shimei Shai because I just want to edify my people, man. All right, so I hope that this was edifying unto you and that you uh, understand that Mother's Day has nothing to do with us. It never did. All right, you know because when you look at the date, uh, which we, I could just pull go back up here to it, you know, and you look at its origin. Okay, 1907. Okay, Yahweh Shai was on the scene way before that. So what was the Mother's Day then? You know what I'm saying? That's just like these so-called religions. When you look at them, a lot of them, 1800s, 19 this, uh, 18 this, you know, all these different, uh, you know, even if it was the 1700s, okay? Yahweh Shai has, has, has been gone, man. What are these religions that are just springing out of nowhere? The Bible said that those things would happen, okay? When you look at the source and where they come from, okay? Heavenly Father's not dealing with that. And you shouldn't be dealing with it as well, okay? 
So again, with that, Lord willing, you have found this lesson here edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, shalom.